This morning, we welcome Reverend Carolyn Stern, a relatively new member of USG. Carolyn is celebrating her first anniversary as our envoy here at uh, USG to the Unitarian Universalist United Nations office. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. The Unitarian Universalist United Nations Office has been working with the United Nations since 1946 to promote peace, liberty, and justice for all. As the USG envoy, I am humbled to learn how we express our faith in the global format. This year, I have learned the different ways that the Unitarian Universalists reach across the globe to support young women in Ghana so that they can get an education to better themselves, themselves and their community. I am encouraged by our commitment in bringing the United States Movement for Black Lives Matter to the global stage through Radical Justice Initiative that coordinates events and in, initiates dialogues to fight against anti-black racism on the international level. I am inspired by the advancing of equal rights for all humans, regardless of sexual orientation or their gender identity. I am hopeful in our tomorrow because of the UU Climate Change Initiative movement, as climate change awareness is uplifted through advocacy and educational resources. And I am moved by our global focus on supporting women and all women's sexual and reproductive health and rights. I am excited to bring to you next Sunday Allison Hess, who serves as the International Engagement Association at the Unitarian Universal Association. She will be offering us a workshop that will address institutional inequalities and discrimination that are faced by individuals around the world, and I encourage you all to come. Today, as I celebrate my anniversary of being the UU UNO Envoy for USG, I light the candle in gratitude for the opportunity to express my faith and to explore our goals on the global community level for peace, liberty, and justice for all, and to explore the inherent worth and dignity of every person. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. I invite you now to come forward by the center aisle, members.